we're going to be moving right along to the next one, which is going to be Enigma. Still rocking the God of War. I don't think she's playing any of the secondaries today. Against Kaiko, who's picked out uh, the Muscle Man for some reason. Today is a guard day, I suppose. Miss Yomashamp. Alright, um... So this is a really bad matchup for, for uh, Machamp, right? This is like absolutely terrible for him. I mean, sure, if he gets in, if he gets in, it doesn't matter, but getting in is, getting in is just, you know, painful. Not that Kaiko cares, though. Um, you know, he's already, he's already in, and, uh, you know, alright. <laughs> yeah, he's... Well, well, what can you say? Sometimes you just get Machamped, you know? Sometimes you just get Machamped and, and it just happens. Alright, let's 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 take a look at how this matchup is usually supposed to go. That's the mod. This is more the distance that you expect. Oh, <laughs> flying, flying Presto. Alright, and he walk it, working to force him, force him back. Kaiko lands into the, the Mimikyu. Going for the shield break. Oh, just barely misses the whiff though, unfortunately. And he caught pressing buttons immediately after. Yeah, <laughs> and he's getting rushed down here. Unfortunate. Alright. He does have burst now, but... Uh, yeah, submission. Barely lives just because of the burst defense buff. And another troll though. Yeah, sometimes you just get troll loop, I suppose. Well... Sometimes it just goes that way, right? Sometimes it just goes that way. You get RPS to death. I wonder what Annie thinks of this matchup though. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is favor, but I can imagine it still being very stressful. You know, because you can't afford to make so many mistakes. Once, once he gets in, once he gets in, he gets in. 50-50. Mm, that's fair. Alright, catches the uh, Kaiko pressing a bit too eager. Now she's got the distance. Oh no, <laughs> scary face range. So speed down, and now she's in the corner. This is gonna be a little bit ris a little bit tricky to deal with. But my manages to catch, uh, manages to find the find the distance that she needs. And this is looking a lot better. Yep. This is what this is what it looks like when uh, the God of War can keep uh, keep the Machamp out, undeterred by Pachiris, So he nearly catches with uh, nearly catches with Moonblast and gets uh, anti-air swift energy ball for the win. Yeah, either you zone or you die in three hits, right? But that's kind of like everybody against Machamp, I suppose, right? I suppose Chandelier is much the same. Moonblast doesn't care about your hype properties. And I see DC true. And this will be the field phase corner positioning. Keeping Kaiko locked down. Yeah, this is the, this is the hard part. <laughs> Finds the GX immediately though. Can I slide over? Slide under. Oh, see DC true the future side. Kaiko popping burst here. Oh wow, what a reaction! Any popping burst in response doesn't want to take too many more. Oh, he's going with uh, <laughs> random cross, random cross chop. Mega Cop's still in play though. You gotta be careful. One HP. Umbreon getting her out of this mix up. Oh no, but he just gets charged after. That was actually really clever though. Umbreon calling, calling Umbreon. Mix, get out of the mix up. And gets rid of uh, Maggie Cup immediately. And <laughs> those instant cross, those those random Abare cross chops though. All right, what are you gonna do about it? All right, this is looking good. Keeping Kaiko locked down at full screen. Really struggling to get in now is Kaiko. Will any working on a perfect? Maggie Cup coming out though. That will interrupt and give give Kaiko a chance to get in, but and he immediately. Forces him back. 
and his counter peers. He's gonna be guessing for game. And Kaiko guesses wrong. So Kaiko is running with supports that will make it quite a bit easier to get in on God of War. You have your Pachirisu, obviously, which just... That's a couple of seconds free uh, entrance time. But uh, any probably very well versed with Pachi already, she knows what to switch over to in order to just bust out CAs, Moonblast, the usual. On the other side, you have Maggie Cup, which uh, if you know if you trigger it off of the projectile, that's gonna be a hard knockdown on God, and God's gonna have speed down. So that's gonna give you a pretty big opportunity to just run in and get your chance to start some stuff. So those will make up for the deficiencies in uh, the entrance to get in. But Kaiko finds the right timing through the energy ball, merely runs into a CA though, gets hard knockdown situation, Moonblast into for into the shield break setup, red shield, uh, Kaiko knows about it though, immediately tries to counter attack on the nice low profile, this will get another launcher, and we're gonna be sending Kaiko to the corner, actually so we will delete these projectiles though, and then he's just gonna immediately go for the Moonblast. Yep, you can't just call Pachi randomly on any because any knows how to deal with it. And Kaiko looking at a bit of a bad position, going for another attempt at a shield, uh, shield damage setup. And with the RCA, it will just take up another. We'll take the round. Any sitting on set point. The charge and denied by Moon Blast. Kaiko takes a chance to bulk up. Nice to clap. Corner mix-ups, and he's sent down to half health. Looking pretty good for Kaiko now, but goes for Yag cheeky air grab, and he melee anti-airs him, and this is gonna be so much damage. Heal phase reset, alright, but the hard knockdown off of Magikarp, and he knowing, recognizing the situation, merely using bursts and the future side stocks in order to buy some space. Kaiko on his last legs here, has the burst to work with though, but unfortunately, Guess is wrong on when to start going in, and he will take the set. But uh, Kaiko's aggression definitely making a good dent in the armor, I suppose. A lot of mental damage was made that day. 